big set of babies are here. And the problem is that it's a set of babies. Uh, yep, right there is the little black one. It's been a good couple hours since it was born. And uh, James came home and got me. Came back out here. Um, it was standing in the corner. Mom wasn't messing with it. Still not cleaned off. All soaking wet. Hadn't drank yet. Um, so that kind of means she's only taking care of one. Not taking care of the other one. This one's all cleaned off pretty much. A little goopy still, but um, I thought maybe if she felt food was plentiful, she would decide to take care of two. So we're giving her as much food as we can give her. And little babies feeling around trying to find the milk has been slightly successful a few times. Um, but was mostly just crying in the corner when we got here. You'll find the milk, baby. Oops, sorry. Silly mama. Yeah, find the milk. Huh? Yeah. Did you find it yet? Is there some left for two? Yeah, we're cold. We're wet. All right, here's the other one that was born this morning. There's a little bit of color on the ears and in the body. Otherwise, it's white. Doing good. Big baby. I check, see if it's a boy or girl. So, so far, they all been boys. Girl. Girl. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Yep, girl. Girl. All right. Good. I thought it felt a flab, but it was just some baby fat. Yeah. So, Miss Piggy and O2 are the next to go, but we predicted right who was going to go first. Put them in the pens. Oh. At least, at least, at least uh, Miss Piggy in one pen and then leave O2 to. Yeah, we haven't built another pen yet. <laughs> We need to at least one and then put Miss Piggy in it so O2 can roll my hand. Yeah. O2's deserved it. She's been the biggest, well, second biggest mm. so far. <laughs> I have brown tips. Yep. I have my parallel on the shape. <laughs> <laughs> I found the placenta. Oh, yeah. Squishy. Yep. This is branching in. Let's get some more hay in here so they got something to lay on. This is ranching. If you if you can't handle it, get out. <laughs> if you're gonna cry, scream. Because it's almost June and it's cold and it's pouring down rain. You gotta fix a fence. And your lamb's not nursing the baby. And you're stuck in the mud. This is ranching. Get over it or get out. This is my first time lambing. So there's the afterbirth. And quite a bit of it. And she's still got like a lot of blood. And a fairly good sized bag hanging back here. I'm hoping she's not having a triplet or some dang thing. Hey. I'm hoping that's a normal amount of blood. Don't know. Get out of your mother's food. 
Well, she already got blood in the food. I don't think she wants to eat it. Yeah. Well, who knows? I mean, they eat the afterbirth sometimes, so. Two girls to keep and six boys to sell. Well, five boys to sell. If we start keeping lambs, we get rid of all the goats. What? Not all of them, just <laughs> most of them. We gotta pick one or the other. We can't afford to do this yet. Grab your wheat, Molly. Clover, muffles, and whatever that one is, the tailies, <laughs> and coralies. No, no, just ravioli, tamale, muffles. <laughs> and then Carly's. Carly doesn't have one. Exactly, she needs to have one. <laughs> Only if she says herself that she wants one. She said, well, she has to say it to me. Oh, that's going to be hard. Right? She let the white one nurse just now, and she licked them both just a little, but she's acting really uncomfortable. I don't know if that's a normal amount of blood. Seems like an awful lot. For the first time? Yeah. It's bright red and really dripping. That don't... What she's doing is not the same as what they were doing. Oh, yeah. We should foster that one. Make it a pet. <laughs> Once we start getting pasture, we can we can let them graze. Yeah. With let all the sheep out and graze, and then we can afford to get more. Only in the winter time. Do we need to really feed them? Not a whole lot, just a round bailing or in this small little area there where they can only stick their heads through and eat. So they don't poop and pee all over it and then want, not want to eat it and waste it. Like goats. I need an experienced lamb person to tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. And if she's okay. Bright red blood, pink. Um. Pacing a lot, and lifting her legs up a lot. stay out here till then and do we get let them look maybe 
Yeah, they say sometimes the best way to kick in a mother's instinct is to bring over a dog. Especially a wolf looking dog. Cha cha! Cha cha! Come lick the baby! Come lick and taste the baby! It's a baby! See the babies! Now she's getting nervous and caring about her babies. Yeah. Cha cha! Choo choo! Choo choo! See the babies! See the babies! It's funny, he doesn't want to stay here. He usually does. He's getting antsy for some reason. Yeah, maybe he's got to pee. Oh boy. Don't pee near the lamp, but that's not good. One thing about it is he'd be a good breeder. He's got some he's got some big testicles compared to that one. <laughs> Not supposed to say that when I'm recording. Oh well it's a hard truth fact about ranching. She's giving him the warning. She's giving the nester too. Chacha, <laughs> <laughs> hey, care for the baby. Like the baby. Taste the baby. <laughs> Draws attention over there. Yeah, I think so. She's trying to get the baby to follow her. Go on, baby. Go on, baby. Get up. Get up. Go on. Get up. Go on. Get up. Now she's nudging and telling him to go over there. <laughs> There's the same noise that she was doing when Jen was in the pen before she just ran Jen into the pen. <laughs> I'm surprised she could reach her head down that far and it would be able to do that because Jen's tiny. Well, it's just weaker. I don't want to leave it. It might not make it if we do. It's cold, wet, and weak. Chaw's pretty good at trying to get the baby cleaned off. Still got a lot of goop on it. But he's got most of it. So now that we're home and almost clean and almost dry, still pretty soaking wet, let's go make some food. Okay. One more lammy, baby. Another boy. So, so far we only got one girl and the rest boys. Yep. So we got one, two, three, four boys. Yep. I put this baby back in with its mommy after cleaning it up and drying it off. It was so weak last night. But, um,. I don't know if mom's going to take care of it or if we're going to have to keep doing it. I don't know. I rubbed some of the placenta back on it and tried to direct it towards the teats, but 
Um, Mom just keeps walking away when it tries to nurse. Doesn't act motherly to that one at all. And... What do you think you're doing, Buck Mom? She only acknowledges the white one. Because it looks like her. I don't know. New moms just do that sometimes. Well, she chose the white one. I'm going to stop her and hold her and see if I can make sure that baby gets a little bit of mom's colostrum. We got it some store colostrum, but. So holding mama still, baby's getting a good drink. She's tolerating it. It's not like I have to manhandle her or hold her still. Just have to corner her. She's nervous. Get, turn her back around there, baby. Right in. There you go. Now I kind of understand why the lady where I got these had really tiny lambing pens to keep the moms from pacing and running so much and stuff for the mamas she was worried about. She had itty bitty pens. Now I get it. We might just have to make this pen smaller. She smells her milk on the baby's mouth. Maybe that'll calm her down about letting the baby 
nurse and stuff. Cha cha! No! He always has to bark at the new ones, like until he knows that they're they belong to us. They don't belong here. Oh, two! You're the last one left. Yeah, last one left. Go ahead and have your baby. Baby. Remember I said that? Baby. Miss Piggy's baby is big. Big boy. It's got to be... I don't know. Hers might be... Well, it's four or five days older. So, of course, it's going to be a little bit bigger. But as far as at birth, this one's a good size one. And O2 just went down. She's having her baby. I think. If my camera lasts, we'll catch it on video. If not, at least I'll be here for one. Unless James gets the truck unstuck, in that case. He'll want to go home and go to bed since he's got work on the morning and he's functioning on just a few hours of sleep from last night's deal. She gets up, she gets back down. She gets up, she gets back down. Highly stressed from Miss Piggy chasing her. When we were out here just a couple hours ago, that wasn't going on, or I would have split them up then. Again, our first time lambing, and so there's precautions we're taking that some people say are overboard, but are all turning out to be pretty necessary. On, on the sound here, but that's James on the other side of the ranch. It sounds like he's upset because the tractor won't start and it was stuck in the mud. It's pretty bad. Stuck and the tractor won't start. Same night that we're lambing. So why is it that uh, lambs and other animals have their babies in the spring storms? Why do spring storms predict lambing? Well, uh, let's see, Keeping It Dutch asked that question last year. So I looked up the scientific data on it and according to the experts, spring storms predict green grass and the availability of new fresh food immediately and so also maybe this wasn't in the literature I'm thinking maybe predators uh, are gonna stay a little more away or hidden out of the rain or something Instead of out on the prowl in the wind and the horrid rain, they can hunker down somewhere safe and have their baby. That part's just my added thoughts. So I sure didn't want to be out in that drench last night. Oh, there goes the tractor starting. Yay! 
We're gonna get unstuck. I won't know which one to record. O2 having her baby or James getting the truck out of the mud with the tractor. Bonnie started. Clyde wouldn't. I'm, I'm assuming. pick up Greg, came back, and she'd had a baby. Missed it. Again. As usual. She still does better. Nursing if I hold her still. But at least little Tux is getting a drink. gets nervous and jumpy every time any of them try to nurse. I don't know if she's hurting, a little sensitive, or just not, not sure about this being a mother thing. You got food. Good bad. Y'all's got food. So, on the advice of another sheep expert, we made her pin very small. And now, little bit. Shh, I'm trying to record. Eat. Here, eat. Now, little baby Tux can nurse and has been nursing since we put that up. And mom's not running around frantic. Um, so I put. Miss Piggy, in this side, she's gone from being a great mom to being super mom, angry at everybody else, very protective of her baby, chasing a O2 around all over the place, grumbling and grunting. Um, might have to make her pen a little small too, just so she quits pacing so much. She's upset. We'll have to get a little more shelter over this one in case more rains come, but it's supposed to be uh, fairly decent for a little while now.